Hey, how's it going you guys? Today I've got a pretty cool tutorial for you. I'm going to be showing you how to do advanced muzzle flares within Motion 5. So let's get started. First, obviously, you're going to need your video clip right here, which I have. And so also, things we're going to be covering this, obviously, the flash, smoke, and environmental glow. Environmental glow is kind of difficult um, to figure out. Once you figure it out, it's not that hard at all. And, and gotten a lot of requests uh, to figure that out and I finally did and so yeah I'll be showing you that uh, but the smoke and the muzzle flare it's pretty easy to do and then a few other little touch-up perfection things that you can do as well so we're gonna find the point where I begin to shoot the gun which let me just scrub through it it would be right here so we're just going to grab a muzzle flare you can grab out an iPhoto or wherever you have it and so this one looks good. And just throw it right on top. And then move ahead one frame. And make sure you've double clicked on your uh, muzzle flare and hit O. And I and O, in case you didn't know, I and O, uh, though, that is your in and out points, essentially. And so what I just did there was uh, chopped off the end of it. And it's just a shortcut, I guess, for shortening your video clip so now I have the flare as just one frame long okay that's good so now I'm just gonna rotate it around which you can do by holding on to this little uh, rotating uh, button right in the middle of uh, your object and I'm just gonna roughly put it where I want it and then right click on your muzzle flare go to blend mode and go to screen alright now hold shift grab onto a corner and scale it up a ways, however large you think it should be. Let's see, mine's going to be around there. That looks that looks pretty good. Now, this, um, as you can probably see, there's a fine line around this muzzle flare, and that's just because I uh, got this muzzle flare off of Google. It's just one that I found on Google Images, and so sometimes I found if you get them off of Google or you know just download them wherever. Um, you're probably going to get this and so it, if you're using Action Essentials or a you know, more higher end um, product like that you're not going to get it at all but if you're just getting it uh, if you're just downloading online you will so the way I found to get rid of that if you're wondering is just double click on your muzzle flare and then go to your properties tab go on to crop highlight that and just crop left right bottom and top just a hair you don't need to do that much but just a bit and there we go it's gone now alright so that looks good now we're going to grab some smoke so I've got some smokes uh, stock footage right here you can download it um, online pretty much wherever just uh, do a search for it and you should be able to find it that's where I found this well, it was just online it was just a download free download um, so yeah you don't have to it's not super hard to find good smoke alright so again I'm just gonna choose my in and out points right here is my endpoint so I'm gonna hit I and I'm gonna drag that to where I want it to be which I want the smoke to start when my flare does so I'm gonna go one I'm going to then go to the end of the clip and double click on my smoke and hit O and that is my out point alright so now just to get rid of the black obviously like we do with the flare go to blend mode and go screen. All right. Okay. So right now it's starting to look pretty good, realistic. I'm just gonna move my smoke around, uh, rotate it just a hair. Yeah, right there is good. All right. So yeah, right now it's starting to look pretty good. You know, it's starting to look nice. But what we need now is environmental glow, which, like I said earlier, it's a little hard to figure out, but since I've already figured it out, it should not be that hard for you guys to follow along. So, excuse me. So you want to get to the spot where I am right now, where your flare has just started. Double click on your base layer footage, right click on it, and go duplicate. Alright, so now I have two copies of my um, base layer, and I want to take my copied base layer and I want to make it just one frame long. I want it to start when the flash starts 
and end when the flash ends. All right, so it'll be one frame long. All right, now double click on that uh, second copy of your base layer, which we just did the in and out points for, and you want to right click on it, go blend mode, and hit add. All right, now as you can see, it brightened everything up, but we need to have it brighten up only in certain areas because obviously it's not going to just brighten up everything because then you won't be able to see anything when um, the gun shoots. So we're going to grab our pen tool down here. It's actually in motion. It's called a Bezier tool. So just grab that and then what you want to do is start to key around where you want the light to show up. So I'm going to have, let's see, some on my, some on my arm little bit on the gun right here so you know there's really no real way or right way I should say to do this just kind of do it where you think looks best and where it would be most realistic alright so this is looking good and then take your Bezier um, your Bezier copy right here and make that one frame long as well Oh, all right, in and out points, good. But as you can see, this is the part that I was totally stumped on. I could not figure it out. And it is this white box that was created by the Bezier, and I couldn't get it to just key out uh, the ad, you know, all the light, not this white box. So what you need to do is go to your Layers tab right here, grab your Bezier um, tab, and then put that right on top of your video clip on your duplicated uh, base layer. All right, so just like that. And as you can see, now we have the light all in one spot and it looks nice. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So again, all you need to do is go into your layers, grab your Bezier, um, your Bezier clip and drag and drop that right on top of your uh, duplicated base layer. Alright, so this looks good now, but as you can see, it's really boxy and it doesn't look realistic at all. So what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to double click on that uh, layer, go to our inspector, actually, yeah, we need to go to our Bezier, we'll go into our layers right here, excuse me, double click on our Bezier and go to mask and we're just going to bring the feather up. I like to have it up all the way. It looks nice. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Um, let me see what else I can do to it. Alright, okay, so there's a few other things you can do. Um, roundness. I think I'm just going to leave that the way it was. That looks fine. And your fallout, that just determines on how I guess how violent the light is. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a little lower down so that you can kind of define the flash and then the light where it's reflecting. All right. So now that's looking pretty good. Just scrubbing through it, and that yeah, it looks really nice, realistic. You got your flash, of course, environmental glow, glow, and your smoke. So you're done right there that looks great now one thing that I didn't cover was how to uh, do a blowback it's pretty easy to do you just need a mask around um, around your gun if you're using a pistol and drag it back to make it look like it actually blew back that's just a simple way to do it but we almost hit 10 minutes here guys so I gotta get going but anyway I hope this tutorial helped and I'll see you guys later bye